Hi everybody, it's Lisa. Today I'm going to show you how to apply your vinyl stencil to your wood board to make your sign. This board is uh, got a rough finish to it. It's got the grooves between the wood planks, which is perfect for a vinyl stencil. Since it's adhesive, it sticks right to the board, creates a nice seal, and helps prevent bleeding. Each stencil comes with clear transfer tape attached to the front. What you're going to want to do first is seal, smooth that onto the stencil so it sticks nicely. And then when you have that done, you're going to flip it over and you're going to peel off that paper backing from the vinyl stencil. That's going to leave your adhesive part exposed. So then you're going to flip that over and kind of gently rest it on your board because you want to be able to move it around, center it, get it all lined up. Um, I put a box around each stencil I send out and that's just to kind of help you line it up a little easier. Um, it helps level it out. So you're going to move that around, get it exactly where you want it to be. And then your next step is going to be to smooth that onto the board. Um, I have a squeegee tool that I use to smooth it on. You can use something like a credit card or anything that's kind of flat that's just going to help um, push it down into the grooves. So you're going to take that tool and you're going to smooth all of the edges down and try to create a nice tight seal so that you don't have any bubbles or any paint leaking underneath that stencil causing that bleeding blurry kind of look to the edges. You want a nice crisp edge which is what vinyl stencils are great for. So you're going to seal that on when you feel like you have it on there good you're going to go ahead and remove your transfer tape. Um, I like to work with my transfer tape at an angle um, when there's a lot of small pieces of vinyl sometimes they pull off with the transfer tape so if you work at an angle it, I find it a lot easier for the uh, stencil to stick to the board it doesn't try to come off as much. So I always pull it off at an angle you're just going to remove that transfer tape and that's going to expose your board and your stencil. So your next step is to paint. Um, Often I will paint my first coat the same color as the background if it's not a stained, if it's a painted thing. Uh, that just helps ensure one more level of non-bleeding because any bleeding that would happen will be the same color as the background so you won't really notice it. Um, you can paint any way you like. I'm using a wedged sponge for this example. Um, I often use a cabinet roller because it's smooth and it's a lot faster to just use a roller. Um, paint it however you want, but once it dries, you're going to be peeling off that stencil to expose your design. Um, it may come off in one big piece, it may get torn and come off in a bunch of little pieces, just depends on the design of your piece. Um, but you want to peel that off and make sure you get all the pieces of stencil off, and then your sign is ready to go. If you're going to put it outside, you probably want to seal it with something to help protect it from the weather. Um, otherwise, you should be all set to hang it wherever you want. Thanks for watching, and if you'd like to see more crafting ideas and videos, you can subscribe to my YouTube channel, check out my blog, and if you need stencils, just head on over to my Etsy shop. You can order some there. Thank you.